people who are most concerned about ensuring their needs are met are the voters of Foothills. And, and uh, I think that anybody could have looked at a calendar. Uh, they could have seen that we had an October 19 federal election. They could have seen that uh, the, the government uh, planned to come back in the fall to pass a budget. And they could have looked at the fact that probably a likely time for this by-election to occur uh, was going to be in uh, late summer before you got into the real um, uh, distracting part or engaged part, shall we say, of the, of the federal election. And so um, I, I have no doubt that uh, the Wild Rose will be able to adjust um, to this. They're a, a, a resourceful group of folks. And um, uh, as far as I understand, the rest of the parties, um, or at least the Liberals, I believe, and, and I think the Conservatives, have uh, nominated candidates. But in any event, we've all known that this by-election was necessary. And um, so it shouldn't be coming as a surprise to anybody who can look at the calendar. And uh, the alternative would be, for as I, as I said before, for us to go into a fall session uh, to talk about a budget without the people of Foothills having an MLA. And to me, that is a much bigger transgression. 